Yo, what's up YouTube? Jay here today bringing you another Photoshop tutorial. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that one of my favorite styles of photography is nighttime photography. Whether it's bokeh, neon lights, depth, even light trails. Today I'm showing you in Photoshop how to make your light trails even better. I know you guys have been there, I have too, where we've sat at one location, waited almost an hour for the perfect timing, getting the perfect composition, waiting for cars, hitting it from both sides so you get crazy trails. Well, there's an easier way to do it and I wanna show you how, and it's actually taking multiple images, stacking them on top of each other using Adobe Photoshop and getting a really cool result. So if you're tired of getting this type of shot here and you wanna get this type of shot here, Let's go ahead and show you guys how to do it. Okay, so we're diving into the computer. Let me show you my four images that I had previously edited in Lightroom. And we have one, two, three, and four. So as you could see, all the tones match. What I did was I edited one picture and then copied all the settings to other three. This way, everything looks the same. Now, all we have to do is let's close these and open up Adobe Photoshop. And here's where the magic happens. It's very quick, very easy. Let's go ahead and click on file. Go down to scripts, scroll over and hit load files into stack. Next, we're going to want to locate where we put them. So we have one through four right there of the trails, open them up. Make sure to check off create smart object after loading layers and then let Photoshop do its thing. It's gonna take a couple seconds. And let's see what the results look like. Now you're asking yourself, that doesn't look like anything special. What just happened? We have just one more step. Go to layer, scroll down to smart objects. Then you're going to go down to stack mode. And here is how you have some fun. Now you could do different choices. I personally like maximum. So let's click that and this is how it's gonna look. When it's done, it looks beautiful. The only thing I would do is hit on the spot healing right here and get rid of some of these lines. I'm not gonna keep you guys around for that. Let's just jump into the final photo and get your thoughts on it. And boom, here we are, my final image. This is the end result. I cleaned up the sky. We got trails going every direction, different colors, different patterns, and this is what I had visualized in my head. Now, when it comes to light trails, there's different ways to do everything, and that's part of the fun. A lot of people have different settings and different styles. Some people want wispy trails or solid trails. And for this type of composition, I just wanted to make sure that all three lanes had some trails in them. And I could have stacked two, maybe three of the images, but stacking all four for me made it fun. In the comments below, let me know how you like the results of this, and if you have any tips or tricks for me on how you do your stacks and light trails. If you don't already subscribe to this channel, you might want to consider it. I'll be coming out with a lot of new tutorials, tech reviews, gear reviews, bunch of really dope stuff. My name's Jay. This was a quick Sunday tutorial for you guys. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.